One year ago today, two homeless men were found beaten to death on Albuquerque's west side. Three teenagers were charged with murder and they are still awaiting trial. Stephanie Clay Tor spoke with the family of one of those men killed during the during a vigil this evening. It was held to remember them. Stephanie. The vigil was held to honor the lives of Key Thompson and Allison Gorman. The people there also demanded an end to racist violence against natives. Prayer in Navajo to commemorate the lives of Key Thompson and Allison Gorman. This woman is just one of dozens who came out to honor their lives, senselessly taken away this day last year. No justice! No peace! The native homeless men were found dead in a vacant lot on Albuquerque's west side, beaten beyond recognition. They didn't deserve to die. They were just resting their heads because, yes, they were drinking and, they, and, and you know, we could drink. But yes, we need a place to sleep too, right? And that's all we're asking. Vita Yazi is Key Thompson's older sister. It's been a year ago since he's been gone and there has not been peace. She and her children came from Gallup to attend the vigil. He always looked out for others. I mean, he would put himself in harm's way for somebody else. Yazi has questions for the parents of Alex Rios, Nathaniel Carrillo, and Gilbert Tafoya, the teens accused of murdering her brother. I'm wondering, how are we bringing up our kids? What are we telling them? Court documents state the teens admitted to beating the men with bricks, sticks, and a metal fence pole. Thompson's family says justice can't come soon enough. Yeah, it's not going to go away that easily because, like she said, they get to see their family. They're there. <laughs> oh, is stuck. The family is upset two of the teens are trying to get out of being charged as adults for the murders. In May, Carrillo and Tafoya's lawyers asked the judge for an amendability hearing if the teens are convicted of first degree murder. The hearing is given to children 14 and younger, and it determines if the defendant should be treated as an adult or a child at sentencing. Carrillo and Tafoya were 16 and 15 at the time. A second judicial judge denied the lawyer's request, but Carrillo's attorney told the Albuquerque Journal they'd file the application for the New Mexico Supreme Court review by July 13th.